So in this problem, we're trying to find an equation to model this population of rabbits. Um, the average rabbit starting population is 1,000. That average increases by 6% per month. And throughout the year, the rabbit population fluctuates uh, by 15 above or below that average. So we're going to start setting up our equation. We know we're going to have P of T, which is our population of rabbits. And we know that at the start, there's uh, an average of 1,000 rabbits, which I'll write here for now. Um, we know that this fluctuation is going to come into effect at some point. Um, but since we know that this average is increasing and the fluctuation is related to the average, we'll first try to figure out that average population. And so we know the average starts at 1,000 and it increases by 6% per month which uh, is the same thing as multiplying by 1.06 every month. How we multiply by 1.6 every month is uh, by putting 1.6 to the power of whatever month we have, which is t. So this is our average population of rabbits um, over the course of the months. Uh, each month is going to add in another 1.06 term, which is going to increase the population by 6%. Now we need to account for our fluctuation. And so if you think of a fluctuation and modeling something that looks like this, we may recognize that as a sine or cosine term. Uh, and so in this case, we're going to use a cosine term. And I'll put this off to the side here. And it's going to be cosine of something. And so uh, presumably, we want this to be related to t. As uh, t increases as the months go on, this fluctuation continues. Um, but we want to make sure that this fluctuation is repeating correctly uh, over the years. So it, it seems like it has one fluctuation per year. Um, we know for a full cosine cycle, that's 2 pi. So it's going to be t times 2 pi divided by however many months we want it to go through to replete, to complete a cycle, which is going to be 12. And so this um, could obviously be, writ be rewritten as um, pi times t over 6, which is how I'll rewrite it here in just a second. So pi times t divided by 6. And now this cosine term accounts for our fluctuation, but we have one last bit of uh, information, which is that in the month of January, which is month zero, um, this fluctuation is going to be at its lowest. Um, cosine of zero, uh, which when we substitute t in for this equation, it's going to be a cosine of zero, uh, is going to be one. And so since we want 1 to be at its lowest and cosine fluctuates between 1 and negative 1, we actually want to subtract this cosine term. And obviously, since cosine fluctuates between 1 and negative 1, and we want this fluctuation to be between uh, 15 and negative 15, we're going to multiply this cosine term by 15. And so this should be uh, the final answer to that question. Thank you.